First of all, you're a dog for clicking on this video. But I'll give you what you came for. Here's a dirty Alex. Here's a dirty dirt block. And here's a woman made literally out of dirty garbage. Only 20% of you are women, but I'm a diversity and inclusivity king, so here's a garbage man too. If you're grossed out, don't worry. My maid villager is cleaning up the screen so that I can introduce my dirty Minecraft mod, which by the end of the video is going to make this game disgusting. I've always thought those pimple popping videos are kind of gross, so I started off by adding acne to Minecraft. If you jump into one of these new underground oil pools, the oil will clog your pores and make you break out into pimples. These pimples randomly hurt throughout the day, but will eventually pop on their own. You can also pop them one by one with arrows to speed up the process, but sometimes this will summon the new big pimple enemy, who is just kind of gross to fight. The oil liquid itself is flammable, and if you drink it, you'll get fire weakness, which is the opposite of fire resistance. It means if you touch fire, you'll explode. However, you can right-click rails with oil to make them slippery, which makes minecarts go much faster than they regularly would. If you have two or more buckets of oil, you'll summon an American Raid, which feature new, rideable bald eagles and heat-seeking missiles that explode on contact. Eagles and missiles can both fly, and so do these new flies, buzz buzz. If you leave food on the ground, it will rot, which will attract flies. If you swat them away before they eat it, there's not really any harm done. But if a fly eats it, it'll get bigger and juicier, which is unpleasant if you try to swat it away. <laughs> Food left in chests will also rot and attract flies, which will land everywhere and prevent you from opening the chest again. And if a fly eats a whole chest full of food, you can bet he'll become a big boy. What's even bigger though, is this gooey splatter, which will also permanently stain any of the blocks it landed on. You might think you can prevent flies from getting into your food by putting a block over your chest, but I actually put little fly eggs all over your food already, so when you reopen your chest, this will happen. Even if you don't eat food, you'll still have to deal with these house flies in your home. And even if you're always on the road, traveling and exploring with someone like your trusty horse, you'll still have to deal with these horse flies. If you saw something like this in real life, you'd probably scream. So I added lungs to Minecraft to let you properly scream. Steve's insides are being used to store what's in his inventory, so I had to put his lungs outside of his body. Having them exposed like this is obviously pretty scary, so you're going to want to give it some armor to protect it. This does mean that my mod isn't compatible with mods that let you go into outer space, since everyone knows that your lungs pop instantly in space. So to make up for it, having lungs means you can now press I to suck other players towards you, and also suck in any of the mobs around you. You can also press O to breathe out, which makes you blow everything away. If you blow really, really hard, you can even make the leaves fall. I also added dust, which, if you breathe in, will make you do this coughing animation. If you don't go back to your house for a long time, everything will be dusty and you'll have to wipe it off. And some blocks, like your chests, will have become dust. There will also be these dust bunnies, which disappear on hit, which means I might as well add dust zombies and every other dust mob. As you walk around your world, all this dust combined with the dirt and grime that's already in Minecraft will get on your clothes, and even you'll get dirtier and dirtier. When you walk on clean blocks like quartz, you'll get cleaner, but you'll leave a trail of dirt. As you can see here, the more you walk, the dirtier your floors will get, and you'll have to hire these maid villagers to clean them up. If you can't afford that, you'll have to manually replace them all, which is actually a good way to farm dirt. 
Speaking of dirt, you can now build dirt golems like this, and if you shear them, they'll become dirt girlums. Since Valentine's Day is coming up, you can give them a flower to make a baby dirt block, which will eventually grow up to become a regular dirt block. And you can use dispensers to automate this whole thing, which creates a dirt farm and finally adds renewable dirt to Minecraft. Being dirty isn't really a problem for me because I really like showering, which has actually led to some egregious water bills, but what I really hate is taking out the trash, which is why I added garbage men to Minecraft. To make them useful, I made it so that dropped items no longer despawn and will instead stay on the ground forever. This can get laggy pretty quickly, so you're gonna want to put items in these new garbage bags instead. Every Thursday, these new garbage men will come into your home and take your garbage bags, and they'll put them in this garbage truck. Garbage men will stop you if you try to jump into the truck, but if you put yourself in a garbage bag, they'll take you and you'll end up in the garbage dimension. Here, everything is made out of garbage, and all you can eat is the fly meat from these flies. There are also these plastic bags flying around that can suffocate you if they land on your head. But if you manage to catch one by just hitting it out of the air, you can use it to paraglide your way across the toxic waste ocean and eventually get back into the overworld. You'll notice though that the overworld looks a little different, and that's because I made all the clean blocks dirty. Stained glass has become really stained glass. There's dirt and mysterious liquid on all the wood and stone bricks. There's needles laying around everywhere. And the sand in the desert has become gross and brown, which has made the surrounding cactus start to rot. No matter how you look at it, trees are always kind of beautiful and clean, especially since they're producing oxygen. So I took the leaves off and then made the wood start rotting. This makes the wood easier to break but tools made out of rotten sticks and rotten wood planks are quite wonky and flaccid. To clean up your world, I added toilet paper to the game. Toilet paper is for wiping, and so you can now wipe a dirty block like this dirt to make it clean. And it works on all these other dirty blocks too. It wouldn't be humane to make the mobs dirty, Although I wasn't thinking about that when I made this mushroom with a fungal infection. Anyways, when you wipe a mob with toilet paper, it'll just get smoothed over. You can keep on wiping, but at some point you'll overwipe and wipe away their entire texture. Minecraft doesn't know how to process this, so every block they touch also loses its texture. And Minecraft is not that good looking of a game to begin with, but this is beginning to look a bit unplayable. Even shaders don't help especially because I'm recording this on a laptop from 2015. If you want to stop these textureless monsters, you probably shouldn't have wiped so much, but luckily I'm a benevolent guy, so I let you wrap them up in toilet paper to turn them into mummies. I've now made your world at best unlivably dirty, and at worst entirely unplayable, so I would say that this mod is about complete. If you liked having acne or lungs or garbage men, make sure to like the video and subscribe for next time. I have something cooking with GamerBoy80, and I'm also getting divorced so that I have something to talk about for my Valentine's Day marriage and divorce update, so I'll see you next time.